Hey guys, Kerry Civ here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Deep Spectre Ghost Icon from Conrad Ghost. This is a special ghost icon that allows Conrad Spectre to change into his power up form. And of course, this includes the icon itself. So, let's get started. So, to start things off, we of course have to look at the icon itself. Looking at it up close, stylistically, it's pretty similar to the Toko and Boost Ghost Icon. Having a clear buy, in this case, clear purple, with a speaker on the side, since this does have sounds, this has lights as well, along with a couple of horns coming out of the sides of the top. It does differ in some areas, though. Looking at the top, we can see it has a D, the face for it. Deep Spectre and then Deep Spectre reading along the bottom. Of course, the big difference here being the eyeball section itself. As opposed to the Togo and Boost Ghost icon, it uses a white eyeball. Instead of having the face symbol be the iris, instead uses just an iris shape. Though in this case, it's a pretty unique one as it's a red iris with a black slit-like pupil, similar to that of a cat or a snake. The most glaring thing about it is that, well, it is glaring. As you can see, it, it doesn't look like the eye is fully open, it instead has this semicircle shape to it. Though, with that being said, that's also kind of the one problem I have with this design, is that Logically, this doesn't make any sense. This is supposed to be an encased eyeball, meaning it has no eyelids. So there's no logical or reasonable way that it can be doing this where it has part of the eye kind of folded down to make it look like it's glaring and to where we only see a portion of the iris itself. So, that's just something I find kind of strange. But, of course, this also has some sounds on its own, so... Unlike with the token boost icon, this actually will cycle through four sounds. Also unlike with Token Boost, it's actually everything besides the iris that lights up. With a very nice purple light. Next we'll test it out with the Ghost Driver. And although it's stylized similar to the Token Boost icon, it actually functions more similarly to the Necrom icon, meaning that it has its own standby sound and most of the sounds come from the Deep Spectre icon. And there we have the transformation lights and sounds for Counter-G Spectre. Now, as you can hear there, it kind of started out similar to the Token Boost icon, where it would say a small phrase when you put in the icon itself, but then, after that, it would actually activate a new standby sound that came from the icon. So the best way to sync that up is to do what I did, which is to put in the icon and then immediately close up the driver. And that just helps the uh, uh, phrase sync up with the announcement of I from the belt and then the start of the standby phase. And as you can see, it does honestly look kind of weird in the driver because obviously as you guys know, the ghost driver already has eyelids that close and open when you pull and push in the lever. But 
it looks like it has an inner eyelid, which does give it a very strange look, especially because it's within just the iris section and doesn't cover the outer white area. It also has two more new sounds, or new standby sounds. As for the initial Daikaigon, it doesn't actually do a finisher attack, but actually activates a second mode of Deep Spectre. So that activates his second mode of the Spectre, which is Gekiko mode. After that, we have the normal Daikaigan, or in this case, Kyokugen Daikaigan. So that'll activate the Giga Omega Drive. And for the Omenema, it actually is the next sound in the sequence, meaning you don't have to do multiple pulls and pushes to get that sound. And after that, it'll cycle between Giga Omega Drive and Giga Omega. Now, before getting to my final thoughts, I'm actually going to let you guys hear those sounds without the driver on, since the sounds do kind of conflict, especially with the standby phase for Gekiko mode. And there we go. So overall, the G-Spectre Ghost Icon is interesting to say the least. Style-wise, while it is cool that it is similar to Toko and Boost, it's also just kind of weird in the way the eyeball is shaped and the way that it's uh, you know kind of stylized to have that glaring look, even though it's just an eyeball, which you know, to me just doesn't make sense. But as for its functions, it's actually pretty cool, especially how it has a lot more sounds put into it than the Toko and Boost icon, and how it has this kind of cool effect where you have both a purple light coming from the Ghost icon and an orange light coming from the Ghost Driver, which gives off a nice little kind of mix of colors. And it is cool how it also has the Gekiko mode, two new standby phases, and a Giga Omega Drive and Giga Omedama. 
So if you have a Ghost Driver and you're a big fan of Connor Spectre, then I can definitely recommend picking up this Ghost Icon, as it is a nice proper power-up form for him. And in and of itself, it does definitely work pretty cool. Plus, there is also a companion weapon for it, similar to the Sunglass Slasher, which I'll get to in a future review. But next time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Duo Buster. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And you can check out my me on Facebook at facebook.com slash 50 And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.